Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into your weekly reading. I really do appreciate you popping over here. Um, look, if you were after a private reading, I am currently accepting those. Please feel free to reach out directly. Um, otherwise, this is going to be a weekly reading channeling messages that you need to hear. So um, keep an open mind and an open heart when addressing these messages. Um, this is going to be the Rider weight deck, and I'll pull out eight cards to see what's coming up for the sign of Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know this coming week? Okay, Sagittarius and Aries have come up. Sagittarius energy is telling me with the temperance card that something needs to be addressed here. There's something that is possibly being, there's a bit of dishonesty because we've got the deception card with the fool. So what's going on here, Scorpio? Seven of swords with the fool card. You've possibly been deceiving someone or not being entirely honest with your person or maybe even with yourself. You've come up as a knight of cups reversed. So something has you reversed here. Something's going on in your connection. Um, or there's something that you're potentially not liking about a person or about the relationship you're having. Um, what I get was what you thought is not matching up with what actually is. So um, fantasy is not matching up with reality. Now, sometimes we have to make it happen ourselves. But I really feel like with the King of Wands, something you were excited about, it's almost like the excitement has phased out a little bit. And now reality is starting to set into a situation here. The Fool card is almost telling me that you might... Be a little bit lost with how you're feeling. It's almost like you weren't expecting to feel this way, but you can't help it. You are. The Knight of Cups, you're possibly pulling away or pulling out from a connection or you're emotionally checking out from something. But look, I don't think you entirely want to leave altogether with the Six of Swords. So if there's a connection that feels like it's on the end of, like it's near its ending, the Six of Swords is telling me that it's not the ending. Um, it's not the right time to end it. Or you or this person truly do not want to end this connection. If it was, it would be upright, and that would be your breakup. That would be, um, that would be it. That would be the goodbye. That would be the sayonara. But it's reversed. So you're not. You I mean you're emotionally checking out, but you're not physically checking out. Okay, you're still somehow linked to this person. Is what I'm getting. Um, you're tr you're trying to keep things stable with the temperance. You're you're keeping things st steady or stable. Um, and you're trying to make peace, you know, you're trying to keep things, you're trying to keep the peace. But deep down, Scorpi, there's something else that's going on here, okay? There's there's something else going into the subconscious. Um, and you might be like, walk, you feel like you're walking on eggshells around your person. Um, maybe with the Seven of Swords, you feel like you're treading lightly. You might be doing something that's a little bit naughty. So secretive behavior, secretive affairs. You may be talking to an ex behind your person's back. You might be talking to multiple people without committing to them um, or telling them you're committed when you're not. Um, the full is a new beginning. So this could be a recent connection rather than a previous, like an ex or a connection that has been around for a very long time. Uh, so there's there's an element of newness um, coming up around this person. So I, th I, think, I think this is maybe more for those that have recently entered into a connection. The Four of Pentacles, someone's not attached. Uh, Four of Pentacles is reversed. Someone's not attaching. Now, this could be you, Scorpio. You're not attaching properly to this person, or they're not attaching to you. But I do feel like you have you have some sort of spiritual bond. It's evident here. Um, you know, these two of cup, this this two of cups energy. So I feel like that there's a reason why that has come up. Um The Four of Pentacles reverse is like ugh, detaching. Maybe some of you are trying to stay with this person for the sake of the family or for the sake of children. If you have children, you're trying to keep that family dynamic smooth. Or maybe your child has attached to the new person you're seeing and you don't want to mess things up there. So, you know, but the King of Wands, you have this like fire energy within you and you don't know how to channel it. You're like... Do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? Oh, ooh, there's there's maybe even frustration or anger with your person that's coming up. Could also be a lot of lust coming up. Okay, this is a very, what I'm seeing is a lot of lust coming up. And maybe you are trying to 
um, you're trying to make the lust in this connection last and go deeper than it is. But emotionally, I mean, you might be att attaching physically, but emotionally, you might not be there yet, Scorpio. This is not you. It could be your person. So if you're seeing that, it's it's because they have this like King of Wands energy. But sometimes the King of Wands doesn't know what he wants, hence why the Temperance card is here. The Fool is the soul searcher. He needs to figure it out. Um, Scorpio, maybe some of you need to like, I don't know if you need to be single or you need to suss out other connections, other people. There's a lot of people around you, okay? You're very, very mysterious. You're also very sexy. You're a very sexy sign. You're very alluring. And this is this is drawing other people in. And I think on a part, a part of you, maybe even on a subconscious level, maybe more than you're willing to admit, wants to check out the lawns, you know, the grass is greener syndrome. You want to check out the lawns in other people's yards, okay? You're feeling quite open. Detachment is not happening right now. Maybe you need to give yourself time. And you'd rather be honest with the person and tell them that than have to go into these exhausting levels and do sneaky conversations and flirt with people behind their back. You know, if this is what you're engaging in, it, it can be exhausting. And then you feel guilty. You know, you're going to have that guilt, that guilt-ridden energy. Um, so you want to be pure with your intentions. He's holding the white rose. The white rose is purity. It is surrendering to a situation here as well. So you may, there may be a message here that you need to surrender to what it is that you're truly wanting. Surrender to your true thoughts. Surrender to your true feelings. So maybe that's the message that's coming up in the cards here. But I keep being drawn to that Six of Swords. You're not ready to detach completely for some reason. But the Eight of Pentacles is reversed. You don't want to work at the connection either. You're just sort of expecting it to handle itself. But maybe there's someone here who needs to step up their game, if, especially if this person has wronged you. If they've been the one that's deceived you, Scorpio, then fair play. I understand why you're doing this. It, it, it would make sense. And yes, you know, you might need to make them work. You might need to work them harder a little bit, okay? Then you might not even be working them hard enough. I get that, okay? I that's That's perfectly validated. But I guess it's just more food for thought. And I want you to think about these things more on a more serious level and, and sort of suss out where you're at, what you're thinking, what's going on internally with you. Because I know, like I said, more than you're willing to admit, on some level, there's something going on here behind the scenes. And you might even be too embarrassed to admit it to yourself or admit it to your friends. And that's okay. Keep it private. But check in, check in with yourself and ask yourself why you're coming up as a Knight of Cups reversed. Why is this reversal coming up around you? Um, a really interesting reading for you this week, Scorpio. So I do hope that has been helpful. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and join the YouTube family. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button um, and you'll get notifications from YouTube um, for when readings for Scorpio or for your sign of your water element will come up um, and be posted to my channel. Otherwise, I do hope to be in touch very soon. So thanks again and bye for now.